Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews, back again for another episode. And today, we have the Shapeshifter by BG. A lot of you guys love these things, and I totally understand why, um, but we will get into it. So, before we start, I do have two sponsors, Black Sheep Baggers and the Cornhole Cave, www.blacksheepbaggers.com. Check that out in the description below. Uh, use code Corbin5 for 10% off. Bags, boards, accessories, apparel, the customer service is ridiculous. Please go check those guys out. They're awesome. Also, the Cornhole Cave, a brick and mortar out of Wichita, Kansas, which is sweet. You know, go check out some boards. Look at bags you're about to buy. Grab a t-shirt. Talk with Ryan. You know, he's a really good dude. So check both those out below. And uh, if you are so inclined, check out my Patreon. This is actually a Patreon bag. So this bag will be given away to a lucky member of my Patreon. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's get into it. Why not, right? Uh, so the Shapeshifter, you guys know BG for like a lot of their slower bags, right? The Viking, the Mercenary, the Warlock, the Wizard, stuff like that. Now, they do have the Dark Slide 2.0, which I also have and I will be reviewing, which I actually quite like for a quick bag. Uh, but the Shapeshifter kind of came in and filled all the gaps that BG had. It's a really, really good bag. So uh, ACL Pro stamped, of course. Price on these guys, we're looking at, I looked today and it was like, 100 for some base models, base model, that's funny, these aren't cars, but 100 for like standard design stuff, and then like a buck 25 for uh, like different designs, limited edition, stuff like that. So, and that's plus shipping. So, add another 10 or 13 bucks onto there, something like that. Um, but pretty standard pricing, you know, 100 ish, whatever. It's, it's pretty standard. The 125s pushing it a little bit, unless it's for some sort of, you know, like uh, they do a lot of autism stuff. Uh, you know, if it was a breast cancer or something like that, that'd be cool. But Regardless, I mean, the prices are not terrible. You know what you're getting with BG quality, so it's kind of worth it, in my opinion. Uh, Break-in method, not a darn clue. Honestly, I bought these used from a buddy, and I have absolutely no clue what was done to them. I want to say it was mostly natural, but I can't tell. Like, they don't have any smell to them. They feel really good, no residue, nothing like that, so I couldn't honestly tell you. Uh, Speeds. This is where it gets a little weird. Uh, it's completely board dependent. I played with these at tournaments. Um, I played with them inside. I played with them outside really depends. So slow side, I'm looking at like five to six, usually hovering toward that six. Um, and then fast side, I would call pretty much a solid nine for the most part. It can be eight to nine, but pretty much a solid nine, but it's not Viper fast. It's a totally different fast side. It is pretty much, I'm not going to say proprietary to them, but they're the only people that I see using this specific fast side so far. So I do like it. Um, three Fs, we got fill, feel and flop. The fill is not your typical BG fill. It's not what you would expect out of a BG bag. Uh, if you've used the dark slides, it's pretty much the same fill as that. It's just a nice mixed blend. Makes the bag a little thinner, a little wider. It's not your typical like short, puffy BG template. So that is nice. Overall feel is good. Corner seams and edges are good. Closing stitch is really nice on this one. Um, I mean, you know, Ultra has my heart with the closing stitch, but this one's pretty darn good. Um, but overall feel is great. And then flop, I mean, they're going to be a floppy bag. It's just the way it is. It's a quicker bag. They're going to be floppy. You guys know this, but they're not like overly floppy where it's like complete taco and I can't throw it. Um, but now we're playability. I mean, you're going to hole hunt a lot with these. I'm only going to pull these out on super sticky boards and I want the bag to slide, right? So blocks and pushes, of course, you know, any bag can block and push. Um, but you're going to slither around and drop more on the fast side than the slow side unless the boards are pretty quick. Mine are playing actually decently quick right now. I mean, those cloudy, you can see there's some, you know remnants of rain on the driveway but they're still playing pretty quick uh so slow side might be able to slide around drop in uh but at tournaments indoors the slow side does start to gum up a little bit that's one thing i did notice about them it would kind of hang and i didn't love that but i also didn't hate it like it's not hanging like carpet wood so not really a huge deal but really they're a uh they're a whole hunting bag i would say for the most part um you know airmail drags should be fairly effortless if you have one sitting on the side of the board or side of the hole whatever but Let's start slow side here. Um, like I said, the boards are kind of scooting right now, not gonna lie. So you're gonna see a lot of those because this is a quicker bag. Uh, you guys know how I am with quicker bags. Just have trouble, all you gotta do is loft them, right? It's just a little bit more loft. Don't have to change much about your throw, just kind of loft. That was still climb, but it's sat, you know, so that that's it's playing at its six right now. And there she goes. Playing it at six, not really a big deal. Um, the fast side, yeah. I might either send them all off the back or I might front board every single one of them. I don't know. That's the beauty of watching me. You just, it's almost Forrest Gump style, you know? You just never know what you're gonna get. There's another one. Hello. 
That was also because I had those little stars when I stood up. You know how that goes. But just got to throw normal. They're nice. They play good. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. I'm trying to think of something to compare them to. Um, and like, first thing that comes to mind is kind of pro snipers. Uh, but it has a totally, <laughs> apparently I'm either in the hole or off the board on these. Um, it has a totally different feel than a pro sniper to me. The slow side is very reminiscent of it but I don't think it's identical. It's pretty close. It's just hard to see the, uh, the stitching with all the sublimation stuff or the weave pattern, whatever you want to call it. Um, fast side, I mean, it feels like Viper Fast, Pro Sniper Fast, but it's not because, again, it has a different pattern. We are going fast side, so I'm going to throw them a mile high. So it's, it's kind of BG's stay. It's like BG's Pro Sniper, kind of. That bag's still moving. That shows you how quick it is. Uh, I'm just amazed with these boards right now. Like, they're not actually playing slow, which surprises me with the humidity in the air. Oh, that's off. That is off. But the bags move. I mean, you can see that. This fast side, never going to give you problems. Like, that's just, whoop. It would slide. It might slide all the way down. I don't know. I'm not going to let it for sake of video. Does anyone want to watch a bag sliding for 45 seconds? I don't think so. So, staying with fast side here. Get up, please. Thank you. It's quick. I mean, it's moving down on me right now. I'm going to try to collect it before it does. <laughs> See, now that's a skill. I just hit a moving target. Dragged them both into the hole. Oh, so it's not going to slide back and come back down? Come on now. Let's try to airmail and just clip that a little bit. Maybe if I clip it, I can get it moving. No. I mean, it worked, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted back, so I wanted to clip the edge of it and bring it back so it would fall. So let's get into some alternating throws here. And I'm really surprised how quick the boards are playing. Honestly, it's it's humid out. It's just, it's very surprising to me. And uh, I mean, the, the bags haven't soaked up any humidity yet because I, I keep all my bags inside, obviously. Um, the boards stay inside too. So maybe once they get a little bit of stuff on them will slow down but i actually kind of like how they're playing right now you know it's that might be right yeah it's just terrible throw if i had somebody ask you know hey i want to play that's fast side. Oop, 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 come on <laughs> if i had somebody asked and say like hey i really like quick bags you know but i want to play the shapeshifters i'd be like yeah okay i can do that and like i said i have i have used them in a tournament my buddy and i were playing a uh, rounders tournament we literally switch bags every single game just to see what we liked, see what was going to work for uh, for the actual bracket. And, you know, we did use these. I don't remember if we used them in bracket or not. But we did play with them for a game, and we, we quite liked them. So I'm going to go slow side push here. It'll collect on both sides. I, I wish the boards were a little stickier right now. I just, I've needed to get this one out for a while. My patrons have been waiting to see this one, and I know you guys all like BG's new stuff. You know, they got the uh, the Samurai. That's a big one that just came out. Uh, I'm really excited for the Sorcerer when it drops. And I want to say the rumor was that's going to drop this winter. That's fast. Side. Climb, drop. I believe that's going to drop this winter. Uh, Sorcerer is going to be... I want to say... Um, wizard slow with shapeshifter fast, so a nice six nine carpet. Oh, missed airmail. A nice six nine carpet. Uh, I think it's going to be sweet. You know, the samurai is a slower bag, kind of deadhead ish, kind of surefire ish. Uh, the samurai has the shapeshifter fast side. Um, you know, a surefire or deadhead slow side. Um, not my favorite combo. I just don't like that slow side. I never have. Something about it, just, I don't know. Give me carpet. I don't want sticky non-carpet. Going fast. Oh, that was terrible. Let's go fast side trying to spin it around. Let us try that again. Just give me a corner so I can airmail track. That's all I want. Give me a corner. I did not. That's all right. Let's just airmail her for the finish. You know, it felt good result was not good but anyway that is the short and sweet 
on the BG Shapeshifter. A lot of people like these bags. A lot of local people are throwing these bags. I see them at almost every single tournament that I go to. Uh, literally, I've you know talked to people and they've been like, yep, just waiting for my Shapeshifters to come in. I don't want to throw anything else. These things are amazing. So I give BG credit. They stepped out of their box of normal carpet stuff and went with something that's really, really popular and has a really good following so far. Um, very sought after. I just, I like them. They're good bags. So uh, if I didn't have like my Costellos, that's my preferred faster bag, I'd probably be throwing shapeshifters because they're, they're pretty darn good. So uh, anyway, guys, that is the short and sweet on the BG shapeshifters. If you guys like this one, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.